let us now resume the fence session we were seeing the fence toolbar in which the first option was to place fence select this and we have already seen the different fence modes that is inside overlap clip void void overlap and void clip let me draw a fence over here in this way now after having drawn this fence this is the first type of fence that is the block instead of having a block as the fence type you can even go for a shape when you select a shape option then you can directly draw any desired polygon in this way in this way you can select your own desired shapes when you close the loop automatically you'll be coming out of the fence creation option okay that is your fence will be then complete after which if you perform any of the move modify uh, commands click on your use fence and then if you move it the objects inside of that fence will be moved in this way and do okay so now suppose i go with this fence option and select the shape when i go with the shape option i can myself determine the shape of the fence which i am creating in this way i can just select the circles whatever will be lying inside of these polygon you can see this is how i have drawn my polygon and whatever lies inside this polygon will be selected since the mode is inside now go with the move option click over here and drag it only the objects which are inside this are going to be selected go with undo in this way you will be using the shape option over here apart from the shape option you also have the circle option select circle click over here and drag it as if you are creating a circle whatever comes within the circle will be then included into your fence go with the move option select it and move it in this way this is how you will be creating a fence using the circle option go with undo select this the circle let me we create the circle only till here now it encloses this rectangle these two circles and this circle completely because of which when we move it it is going to move only those four objects okay after the circle option next you have the element option click on element and then click on any of the closed loops when you click on this now what happens is that element is converted into a fence suppose i select this left click and now when you are going to move it that fence is going to move that element which was converted into a fence will now be moving go with undo in this way suppose you have a rectangle in this way select the fence option click on element inside i am selecting this as the fence all right now after this when i go with the move option i'll be selecting and i'll be moving it in this way from here to here or from here to here that object has been converted into a fence that is the reason you do not have to click on that rectangle now you can click anywhere since use fence option is enabled it is going to detect whichever fence is present in the drawing and it is, it is going to carry those objects within that fence okay that is the fence option after element let us now go with the from view option when you select from view and click anywhere inside this view right after clicking when you zoom out you will notice that whatever was within your boundaries earlier this particular region was fit to the boundaries of the view and whatever is present in that view will be converted into a fence that is the option called from view all right that is let me choose it over here now suppose i have one more circle over here now i am going with the fit view option in this way okay 
this is how all my objects are present in the drawing this rectangle over here and these other objects over here now select the fence option and when you select from view and click inside over here these are the boundaries of the fence which has been created when you click inside whatever is present in the screen will be put together into a single fence this is the boundary of the fence you can zoom out and you can check this is the boundary of the fence if you now go with the move option and select it and place it over here all those objects are going to move in this way okay so that is the from view option suppose i go with zoom window in this way now i'll select the fence option and click on from view click over here now the fence is this this boundary zoom out and you can see the boundary in this way okay now the next option over here is to use design file when you select from design file whatever objects are within your extents that is in the entire drawing are going to be selected now click over here and right click come out of it and you can see all the objects that are present in the entire drawing not just the view in the entire drawing are going to be put together in a fence okay so this is your fence option suppose i delete this rectangle and now i go with creation of fence from design file click anywhere in the screen and this is the fence which got created you can see this is the fence if i go with the move option it is going to move in this way all right so this is how we are going to use the design file option whatever are the extents of your drawing are going to be selected when you go with the design file when you go with the view only what is there in the screen is put together in a fence okay so these are the various types of options present in the place fence tool okay now next go for this option called modify fence for you to use this modify fence option we need to have a fence created first right now when i'm clicking modify fence nothing is coming we need to select a fence we need to place it first after that when you select the modify fence option it shows up you can edit or you can modify the vertex or the position let me select vertex and i'm modifying this vertex in this way right click this vertex in this way right click in this way you can modify the vertices of your drawing right click in order to place it over there okay you can left click over here and place it like this again it's changing the same point if you are satisfied the location of the point you can go with right click again select over here left click and place it like this right click that is how you are go going to modify the vertex second is the position you can change the position of the vertex that is instead of here you can have the fence placed over there after you place it again go with the right click button and if suppose while creating the fence the mode was inside you can change the mode as well to clip or you can change it to void overlap whatever you want to make the changes you can make those changes over here in the modify fence option itself okay so this is about your modification of the fence the next option over here is manipulate fence contents okay select this this is nothing but the options which we have over here copy move all those options are repeated over here copy move rotate scale miller and stretch option is also present over here which are used to modify the contents of the fence let me select the inside option and let me modify this fence in this way that is i want to modify the vertices like this this vertex till here in this way all right now i'll select this option and go with the operation called stretch now left click over here and stretch it in this way and you can see this rectangle which was overlapping this fence 
got stretched the objects which are completely enclosed within the fence are not going to be stretched the stretch command only works whenever a particular object is intersecting a fence suppose i have a rectangle over here and another bigger rectangle over here now i am placing a fence over here in this way and i am using this option called stretch when i click over here and try to expand it only the object which is intersecting the fence is going to be expanded or stretched the object which is completely enclosed just undergoes the move operation the stretch operation is applied only to the object which is intersecting the fence the rest of the objects you have already seen copy move etc you can select this you can make a copy over here 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 etc similar to that you can go with the move rotate scale or mirror option okay the next option over here is delete fence contents let me first place a fence like this now go with the delete fence contents option and select inside again you have different modes over here inside overlap clip which we have already seen let us now click over here and you can see that all the objects which are present inside the fence are deleted that is the delete fence contents option I'm stopping the session over here.